All right, just gonna do a pickup video here um, with thrift store and swap meet stuff that I got, as well as uh, one Craigslist item. So it's been a long time since I've done this. So this is like within like a week and like a month I got some stuff. So there's a bunch of different things. So I'm gonna start off with this uh, this standalone. Yeah, let's see if I can get the light to hit it. Uh, Intex Stargate. Uh, standalone arcade player from 1984, 1982. Sorry, but uh, let's see if it'll turn on. Come on. The the only problem with this thing is the batteries keep falling out of it for some reason. There we go. You can see the picture. So like. Pretty annoying. I haven't even figured out the way to play it really yet. Seems like you just like thrust to the next screen and then you shoot the guys that are in your way and then you just like thrust over to the screen after that. Hit thrust. So here's a keypad. It has smart bomb, thrust, fire, inviso. So it's uh it's pretty cool, I guess. It's not something I'll be playing a lot. Mostly something just uh, to keep in the collection that will probably be valuable one day. But yeah. Uh, next, I got um, a PS2 at the swap meet for $5. And instead of the AV cable, it came with the coax cable. I've never actually seen that for the PlayStation 2. But tried this out, and it turns on, but it does not read discs. The laser's all messed up. I tried looking at it to figure it out, but it does not work. So the guy <laughs> said if it doesn't work, I could bring it back, so we'll see what he says. Next, I got this uh, Pocahontas pillow that I've been putting on my couch. I got that a couple weeks ago just to, you know, help uh, decorate the apartment a little bit. These are really cool. I just got these. They're Pocahontas promotional cups from Burger King. So you got one with, uh, what's his name, uh, Radcliffe, I believe, uh, Miko and Flick on that one, uh, John Smith, Pocahontas, and uh, Kokoam with, uh, I don't know, Pocahontas' dad, the chief guy. And they were in the boxes, but, um, I mean, they could be worth something one day, I guess, but right now they're only worth like 10 bucks for all of them, like the whole set, so I figured it'd be cooler to just use them and uh, have them in my cupboard. So I got all four of them for three dollars. So that was a pretty great deal. Less than a buck a piece. Alright, um, the next I'm going to do my Disney tapes that I got. I got the Brave Little Toaster. Pretty excited to find this one. Um, it's been really hard to find. This is, uh, I don't think this was I don't think this was uh, animated by Disney, but I think they released it for home video. I think they... I'm not sure. I can't remember. But this one's Disney. Disney, The Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad. Um, I had the mini classics of um, The Legend of Sleepy Hollow and uh, Mr. Toad. I had both of them, and now I have the feature film version of it. So that was cool to find. This is something that I was really surprised to find because this is relatively rare, I would say. I mean, it's not worth like a ton, but it's not that easy to find to come along this. The Reluctant Dragon. And this is in the slip cover, and uh, it's got a sticker label on it. It's pretty sweet. Um, but I'll show the labels on these real quick, too. There you go, ink label. And another ink label. Alright, I also picked up this whole stack of uh, Disney Betamax tapes. Um, I don't have a Betamax player yet, but I got a really good deal on them. I think I paid like $8 for all of them. So it was cool. This is the only one that's not Disney. A Man Called Horse, number three. But all these, the Alice in Wonderland one was the one that got my attention the most. Super cool having this old Alice in Wonderland. This is from like uh, 
probably 1984. I don't know if it has. They don't do print dates on these the same as they do on the VHS. But that's a really old beta tape. Really cool to have. Um, also comes came with Freaky Friday. Big Red. Family Band. The Watcher in the Woods. The Sign of Zorro. Babes in Toyland. That one's falling apart. Splash which is a touchstone, but still Disney. Blackbeard's Ghost. The Island at the Top of the World. This one says for rental only, and the price they sold it for was sixty nine ninety. That's pretty pricey. And Tron. And that one says it sold for eighty four ninety. So that's pretty expensive. But I was pretty stoked to get these. Um, I don't really collect... Um, live action Disney movies, but so I'll probably sell these on eBay. I'll probably save Alice in Wonderland and Tron because it's somewhat animated. I would classify it as. But yeah, there's that. And uh, this is another thing I got: the Corn Dog Man. I've been. I just started a new collection of VHS tapes um, with strange titles, so that when you just see them on the shelf, you just say, "What the heck is that?" That's the idea. So the corn dog man got my attention. As soon as I saw it, I was like, "What is that?" And that's what I'm looking for. I got that for uh, 50 cents. So pretty awesome. Pretty funny. Nothing to do with corn dogs, I don't think. Uh, next, I got this uh, Sims. Um, it came in a bundle with uh, some computer or something because it was like one of the most popular games. I got this for free. The guy just gave it to me. Um, and it looks like the last thing I got is this, uh, Disney Guess Words game. Um, this, I had never, I've never seen this before. I've never played Guess Words. Um, it was right next to a Disney Seen It, which I totally knew how to play. I didn't want that because I don't like those kind of games because when you learn, after you play it a few times, you learn all the questions and it just repeats. So I like the ones that just have way more questions or um, ones that can never have a right answer. And this this is similar to like Password. I haven't played it yet, but from reading the directions, uh, you get one word clues and there's just only one right guess. And you guess the word before the time runs out, it says. So it's kind of similar to the Disney charades that I used to have. But uh, I'll show you the back. It comes with little wheels. And they all just have um, one word on them, and a lot of them are hardly related to Disney. Like the word "hero" is one of them, and I mean, I guess you could say a Disney word to make them, but they're not like Disney characters you're trying to guess. They're just regular words, like the word "jungle," the word "twins," the word "cowboy." But I guess you're supposed to give clues that relate to Disney, but it looked really fun. I, I got it for only two dollars, so I mean, I'm sure I'm sure it'll be cool. It sounds really hard, but still pretty excited about it. But yeah, other than that, I picked up you know some like a toaster. I picked up a VCR. Um, I picked out a sauce pot, just some regular random kitchen stuff. But that's about it for. Uh, the interesting things, and uh, thanks for watching.